Ukrainian and Russian troops traded fire in what were once cities and residential neighborhoods of the war-torn eastern regions of Ukraine on Thursday, as Kyiv tried to push back occupying forces. The Ukrainian military said the Russians were focused on an offensive in the Bakhmut sector of the Donetsk region, but their attacks in the Avdivka and Kupiansk sectors were unsuccessful. One Ukrainian soldier, who said his name was Viktor, spoke to Reuters. We are hearing that their troops are getting transferred from Bakhmut to Solidar. The Russian soldiers aren't able to rip through the defense, so now they aim for Solidar to get through there. Reuters could not independently verify the claim. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, meanwhile, has urged the West to provide his army with heavy tanks to boost their firepower. Civilians, aided by a non-governmental organization, Elios Ukraine, scrambled to evacuate people desperate to escape Bakhmut, and the destruction visible all around, as the fighting is set to intensify for the rest of the winter. Resident Lydia Dimitrievna. All this noise is unbearable. We get no sleep and we have no windows left in the apartment. I have all the necessities, but no glass in the windows, all darkness. We covered everything with foil, but it doesn't help. It's hard to get up in the morning. No one could have imagined this, because it is very hard, tears every day. I'm standing here now, and my tears keep falling. This all comes as Russian President Vladimir Putin on Thursday called for a 36-hour ceasefire to mark Orthodox Christmas, an offer Ukraine rejected until Russia withdraws its invading forces from occupied land. Ukraine has previously said any Russian call for a ceasefire would be an attempt by Moscow to secure some respite for its troops, which Ukraine is trying to force from territory Russia seized after its invasion last February.